Did you know that according to the World Health Organization, Japan has the highest life expectancy in the world? 85 years for men and 87.3 years for women. Moreover, it has the highest ratio of centenarians worldwide, more than 520 for every million people. The island of Okinawa even exceeds the national average. There are 24.55 people over the age of 100 for every 100 inhabitants. Hector Garcia and Francesc Morales spent a few years examining the Okinawan lifestyle, and especially a rural town in the north end of the island with a population of 3,000, which boasts the highest life expectancy in the world. When they conducted interviews with the eldest residents, they realized that there was something far more powerful than natural resources at work, an uncommon joy that flows from people there and guides them through their lives, the mysterious ikigai. The word ikigai represents a Japanese concept best translated as a reason for being. It's similar to Viktor Frankl's logotherapy, which helps people find their purpose in life, but it goes a step beyond. Ikigai is one of the keys to a long life, in addition to a healthy diet, a simple life in the outdoors, green tea, and the subtropical climate. The purpose of this book is to bring the secrets of Japan's centenarians to readers and give them the tools to find their own Ikigai. In addition, the authors share insights from Japanese philosophy on the lasting health of body, mind, and spirit. We are halfway to 50,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for your ongoing support and encouraging comments. If you want to support us further, please check out our Patreon. It's highly appreciated and it helps us to keep creating amazing book summaries for you. While examining the Okinawan lifestyle, the authors noticed a surprising thing. People remain very active after they retire. In fact, many Japanese people never really retire. They keep doing what they love for as long as their health allows. There is, in fact, no word in Japanese which means retire in the sense of leaving the workforce for good. Maintaining an active, adaptable mind is one of the key factors in staying young. It's important to give your brain a workout. People, especially older people, like to do things as they have always done them. The problem is that when the brain develops fixed habits, it doesn't need to think anymore. You can break the tendency to stick to routines by confronting the brain with new information. This way, the brain creates new connections and is revitalized. Our neurons start to age while we are still in our 20s. The process is slowed, however, by intellectual activity, curiosity, and a desire to learn. According to the Japanese, everyone has an ikigai. Our ikigai is hidden deep inside each of us, and finding it requires a patient search. Our ikigai is the reason we get up in the morning. It brings satisfaction, happiness, and meaning to our lives. Ikigai is a combination of four elements. What you love, what you are good at, what the world needs, and what you can be paid for. It is the intersection of these four elements that leads to a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Questions which can help us discover our ikigai are, what makes us enjoy doing something so much that we forget about our worries? And when are we happiest? This state can be called flow and described as pleasure, delight, creativity, and process when we are completely immersed in life. If we want to achieve this optimal experience, we should focus on increasing the time we spend on activities that bring us to this state of flow, rather than on activities that offer immediate pleasure. When we flow, we are focused on an actual task without any distractions. Our mind is in order. The authors mention another term, microflow, and explain it as enjoying mundane tasks. Our ability to turn routine tasks into something we enjoy is key to our well-being because we all have to do such tasks. The authors did 100 interviews, asking the eldest members of the community about their life philosophy and the secrets to longevity. The most meaningful and inspiring insights are, one, don't worry. If you smile and open your heart, everyone will want to see you. The best way to avoid anxiety is to go out and say hello to people. Two, cultivate good habits. 
Getting up early, working in your garden, eating a bit of everything, exercising, dancing, spending time with people. 3. Nurture your friendship every day. Getting together with friends and neighbors is probably the most important ikigai. 4. Live an unhurried life. Slow down and relax, pray, exercise. Do many different things every day, but do one thing at a time. Enjoy each season happily. 5. Be optimistic. Believe that today will be full of health and energy. Laugh, dance, and sing with your grandchildren. 6. Believe that this moment exists only now and won't come again. It teaches you to focus on the present and enjoy each moment that life brings you. Some interesting facts about the eldest people that were interviewed are 100% of those people keep a vegetable garden. All of them belong to some form of neighborhood association where they feel cared for as though by family. They celebrate all the time, even little things. Music, song, and dance are essential parts of daily life. They have an important purpose in life. They have an ikigai, but they don't take it too seriously. They are very proud of their traditions and local culture. They are passionate about everything they do. They are always busy, but they occupy themselves with tasks that allow them to relax. There was not a single old grandpa sitting on a bench doing nothing. Even though the interviewed Japanese people think that food is the least important thing, the authors uncovered their diet and eating habits. The Japanese eat a wide variety of foods, especially vegetables. Variety seems to be key. Okinawans, for example, eat an average of 18 different foods each day. They eat mostly rice, tofu, fish, fruit, and vegetables, but rarely sugar, and if they do, it's cane sugar. The portion size is much smaller in Japan than in the West. Food isn't served as appetizers, main courses, and dessert. Instead, everything is presented at once on small plates. The Japanese follow the 80% secret. Fill your belly to 80% which means they should stop eating when they are starting to feel full. Physical activity is typical for Japanese people even at the age of 80 to 90 years. They don't go to the gym or exercise intensely, but they almost never stop moving in their course of their daily routines. They practice yoga, tai chi, qigong, or other short group practices, which focus on dynamic stretching and increasing joint mobility. The authors explain that resilience is typical for these people. It's not just the ability to persevere, but also an outlook you can develop to stay focused on the important things in life and to keep yourself from being carried away by negative emotions. Resilience is our ability to deal with setbacks. Resilient people concentrate on things they can control and don't worry about those they can't. Another concept revealed in the book is wabi-sabi, a Japanese concept that shows us the beauty of the fleeting, changeable, and imperfect nature of the world around us. Instead of searching for beauty in perfection, we should look for things that are flawed, incomplete. Only things that are imperfect, incomplete, and ephemeral can truly be beautiful, because only those things resemble the natural world. If you enjoyed this video and you're interested in the topic of finding a purpose in life, you're sure to like our summary of Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. Thank you for watching.